Hello everybody, I'm Allie, she's Luna, and this is her first time in a Bosal. And so we're going to be using this today and going over a few exercises. It's a 14 year old horse's first introduction to the Bosal. Now it's very different from what I've been using. Most of the bit lists that I have been using have been side pull types. So I've got to get her to go ahead and give me my head, give her head over this way. There you go. A little bit more. So I'm pull and release, pull and release. And she fought, but I waited until she gave, and then I released. So just very light pressure. The first thing you, that you want to do is you want to establish that the horse will still give side to side. There you go. Now you can tell she gives better, but she's learning. So that's why I'm giving little bitty pulls. So what you do on one side, you always make sure that you do on the other. So, I'm going to reach forward, I'm going to pull basically the same place, pull and release, 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 pull and release until she gives, big give, and release. Now, I'm going to do that again, and a little pull, 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 pull, and big release. So I just dropped the rein, but you know, you can give a better release depending on that. Now, the next thing that we want her to do is realize what the back means. Now, the back is not only through our seat, but we're also going to be putting pressure on her nose. So we want her to give her nose and we want her to raise in the forehand. So we're going to take our hands out kind of to the side. We're gonna concentrate on squeezing and releasing back here. And I'm gonna add a little leg cue by just wiggling my toes. So I'm gonna ask for the back back, back, good, and release. Now back, 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 good, and release. Now back, 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 and release. Every time her head comes up, there we go, and I can start to feel her forehand start to raise and her back, I'm gonna release. So I'm gonna keep backing in a row until I get where she's, I can feel her lifting her forehand and getting her head tucked in because then I know that she's actually trying to lift her back into the back. So again, the same cue, back, 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 there we go, back, back, there. I finally feel a lift. What I'm doing is I'm looking for the lift out of the forehand. Now, another really quick one, make sure you don't get into trouble when you're working with a colt. Remember that a bosal is meant to use outside leg and indirect rein. It's supposed to help your horse keep them neck rein. And that's what a lot of cowboys use. So you can't just pull on the inside rein. You have to use pressure with the outside rein, kind of knock it a little bit every time you're acting, but you also you have to use the appropriate amount of leg. So, this is what I'm talking about. When you are asking the horse to work off the basal, you're also working off the leg. So when I say outside leg, that's pointed towards you. That is the inside of my circle. So we're mainly going to be using our leg right here. So button number one, button number two, button number three. Number two moves the whole horse, the side of the rib cage. Number one moves the forehand, and number three moves the hind quarter. So when we're asking that horse to round up and kind of collect in, we're kind of kind of get back into button number three and actually be able to lift that a little bit. Because the idea here is we want her to give her head and to round up at the same time. To start to round. So you lift up with your leg. Lift up with your leg. There we go. And get her to drop her head and start to relax into it. But still raise up. So you want to hold until you get the whole thing. Not just the head down. The head down is an indication. But you actually are squeezing the entire time with that lower leg kind of button number three. To just kind of get her start raising up slowly, raising up slowly, raising up slowly. And you kind of feel it. And that's when you get much, 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 much. There we go, a little bit. I got a little bit. And this is how we get her to realize what the nose feels. 
feels like. There she goes. Now she's going to push down and do that. exercise just kind of starts. So you can see it on this side. Now I'm going to go right exercise to make sure your horse is really working off the bow saw. Now a lot of the other exercises are going to involve stopping and there's so much more but these are some basic ones to just kind of see if a bow saw is going to work for your horse in the way that they respond to it. Well thank you so much for joining me in today's video and if you enjoyed the video give us a like and if you haven't already please subscribe and remember check out our playlist.